We're here with Dr. Michael Borkin of Sabre Sciences in Carlsbad, California, our partner in Premier Hormone Balance, discussing various aspects of the options that you have in treating a hormone imbalance. Um, there are various options we'll discuss today. The first uh, most essential element that may seem like it may be common sense to everyone, uh, but might not be, the question of stress. Doctor, can you share with us what is, what is your definition or what is the definition of stress? Absolutely. And stress, what you have to take into consideration, is as individual as our fingerprints. What's stressful to one individual isn't necessarily stressful to another. When we think about the character of James Bond, this is somebody who, on his way to dinner, is attacked by three guys who jump out from behind a building, and he simply beats them up and straightens his clothing and goes on to dinner as if nothing ever took place. The average person, that's a lifelong monumental event. So stress is different to everybody. The majority of, of the stress that we're discussing is physiological stress. 90% of what we're looking for in these various diagnostic protocols is an indication of the physiological stress factors such as digestive disturbances, chronic infections, the psychological, emotional input on a daily basis. All of these things play a big role and we want to know from what system these particular issues emanate from. So looking at the panels from the standpoint of pattern recognition becomes extremely important because it gives indication as to if there's a blood sugar disturbance or some type of contributing uh, chronic inflammation or chronic infection and where it might possibly be coming from in order to focus the attention as far as further diagnostics and developing a treatment protocol that's going to, to be effective on every level with short-term as well as long-term goals to address not only the symptoms but the origin of dysfunction.